For this example, we want to graph x equals y squared minus 6y plus 6. Now this is of the form x equals y squared, so it's either going to open to the left or to the right. Right? If we, anytime we have a y squared, we're looking at left or right. And since this is positive here, it opens to the right. Okay, so we know that much. Next, let's get the vertex. We have our vertex formula, and now instead of x equals negative b over 2a, like it was in the, in the vertical parabola case, this time we have y equals negative b over 2a. All right, so let's see what that gives us. That gives us negative, negative 6, all over 2 times a, which is 1. So that is 3. Okay, again, we have our a. A is 1, B is negative 6, and C is 6 here. All right, but that's only half of our vertex. We then get our X value by plugging this 3 back into our Y's here. Okay, two of them. So X is then 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 6. Well, that's 9 minus 18 plus 6. So how about negative 3? Okay, these two points combine. Even though we computed the y first, the y still goes in the y spot. That's one confusing thing about this. And the x goes in the x spot. Negative 3, comma 3. First value is always x. Second value is always y. Okay, so there's our vertex. Negative 3, comma 3. There we go. It opens to the right. We can also quickly get the x-intercept, right? This c value here immediately gives the x-intercept. OK, so we get an x-intercept of 6. And again, you can always just plug in 0 for the opposite variable to get the intercept. So if we want the x-intercept, we plug in 0 for y. And that was another way to show that it would be 6 but it's always just going to be this c value for these horizontal cases. Now, to get the y-intercepts, we would set x equal to 0. You always set the opposite variable equal to 0. So that gives us 0 equals y squared minus 6y plus 6. And here's where you have to make a little bit of a decision. If the problem is specifically asking for the intercepts, for all the intercepts, then you'd have to use the quadratic formula on this one. This doesn't factor, right, unfortunately. So you have two options. Either use the quadratic formula and find it that way, or if it's just asking for the graph, we actually have enough here to graph it. Because look, remember our axis of symmetry goes right through the vertex, and you get an extra point for free. So we have this x-intercept down here. This gives us a point up here that's 3 off of the axis of symmetry, which runs right through the middle there. So we get another point 3 up right here. OK, and we can connect all those to make a nice parabola. Something like this, and something like that. There we go. And notice how I, don't, I didn't compute explicitly what these y-intercepts are, because um, I didn't need to. I was able to get the graph without having to compute those. So it depends upon what the problem is asking. If the problem is asking for the y-intercepts, then I would go ahead and put this through the quadratic formula and get them that way. I won't do it in this case, but that's how you would find them if you in particular need them.